The stench of the bog fades into memory, and a land of great beauty lies before him, a paradise where nature lives in harmony with all living creatures, indeed a refuge for those who wish it. He is close now, close to the old gods and the old ways, long forgotten by men. This kingdom was once revered by all, yet now only a small part remains. Soon even this will disappear. The amulet senses its master. Its journey is almost over. He will need all his strength now, all his wits. If he is to succeed here, if he is to convince the old god to help him.
Show yourself. The Brotherhood needs your help. I need your help. I know who you are, Gabriel. I am the guardian of the Lake of Oblivion, where the living can communicate with the dead. Tell me, warrior, are you aware of what is happening in the world? We have been deserted by God. Creatures from the Void come to claim the souls of men, to wipe mankind from the face of the Earth. And what of the elders of your order? What do they think? That God has not abandoned us. They believe that a powerful spell has been unleashed by someone or something. A spell that has isolated our world from the heavens, cutting us off from God and allowing evil to flourish unchecked. Why have the Brotherhood of Light sent you to the Lake of Oblivion? They have dreamt that a message waits for me at this lake. A message that holds a clue to our salvation. I was instructed to seek you out, in the hope that you may show me the path. The Elders believe that these dreams are the last message from the heavens, and that you should know something that we are unaware of. Is that it? Yes. My wife, Marie, was murdered not two days ago by the evil that roams these lands. Her soul and those of the recently departed are trapped here and cannot find peace. And that is why they sent you to the Lake of Oblivion, because they believe that she is waiting for you here to deliver a message to you. Yes. Will you help me? Only the most deserving of the living are worthy of speaking to the dead. Are you worthy, Gabriel? What does this mean? Tell me! Only that you have passed the test. You appear worthy of entering the Lake of Oblivion. Make sure you have your daggers with you. One never knows when need may arise.
The test has shaken him. I see the doubt in his eyes as he heads towards the lake. So Pan is helping him now. That's good. Perhaps it bodes well. I wonder if he knows what awaits him here, in this place where the dead can contact the living. It is cold now. A chill wind blows through his heart. I can see it, feel it. He will need help if he is to succeed. He must not fail. He will not fail. Not now. Not yet. Not if I have anything to do with it.
Dagger, quickly! Marie! Forgive me. I was not there to save you. There is nothing to forgive, my love. I am so happy to look upon your face again. And I yours. My love, the elders of the Order hope that you can help us to understand what is happening. The world has been isolated from the heavens. Some believe that God has abandoned us. Can it be true? I feel that 
that the spirits are trying to talk to me. They whisper things to me. It is hard to understand them all. It, it is so dark, so many people crying. I cannot find them in the blackness. I'm scared. There is something else. A shadow is on my mind. You must help us, Gabriel. What are they telling you? Who are they? They are the spirits who founded your order, and that the power of the Lords of Shadow is the key. They talk of a prophecy. I don't understand what they mean. I can feel myself fading. I can hardly see you. Darkness is closing no. around me. Marie. I love you, Gabriel. Don't go, Marie. I love you too. Why are you here? Who sent you? I am Zobek, a warrior of your brotherhood. Pan and I are old acquaintances. He felt you would be in need of my assistance. I have heard of you. I am sorry. My name is Belmont. I know who you are. Was that the spirit of someone you know? Yes. It was my wife. Forgive me. I couldn't help but overhear what she told you. It sounds like the spirits who founded our order are trying to tell us something very important through her. What do you mean? Only that the founders of the order seem to be using the dead to communicate with us. The prophecy has been secret for many centuries. It is known only to a select few. There is no way she could have known of it unless they managed to tell her somehow. Praise be to God. What prophecy? It is written that a pure-hearted warrior will claim the power of the Lords of Shadow as his own and use it in order to overcome all evil. It is said this warrior would become God's vassal on Earth, supremely powerful. He could do anything. The Founding Spirits have not abandoned us, Gabriel. Thanks to your Marie, we now know there is some hope. We have to enter the lands of the Dark Lords, you and I. We must reclaim the powers they hold and unite the heavens with this world once more. And don't you see, Gabriel? You can bring her back. If what you say is true, then we need to work quickly and in secret. The Lords of Shadow must not suspect we are on their trail, and they will turn all of their attention towards us. We should take different routes, you and I. I will head for the land of the Lycans. You leave for the territory of the Vampires and prepare the way. Then we must go on to the Lord of the Necromancers together. His realm lies furthest. Our enemy must suspect nothing. Take this. It will allow you to absorb spiritual energy, and will help cure your wounds. Good luck, my friend. May we be granted victory. Thank you, brother. You have given me renewed hope.